I'm Scott Anger. I'm a private investigator. I've been out of the office for a month doing a little too much thinking and a lot too much drinking. Now I was out of the gutter and back at my desk. I needed something to get me back into the swing of things. Two seconds later, she walked in. Mr. Spencer? No, I'm Scott Anger. That's Ralph Spencer over there. Madam? How can we help you, Mrs... Klein. Miss Carol Klein. It's my brother, Dan. We're from Oregon. He has a job here in the city. He always sends a check home. Every month. Always. Nothing came in June. Now it's nearly the end of July. I'm so worried. The police have not been helpful. They're not as a rule, Miss Klein, but we are. Our fee is $20 a day with a $100 retainer. That's an awful lot of money, Mr. Anger. I'm sure your brother is worth it. We'll need a photo. Yes, of course. Tell me about him. He was boarding at 224 Mason Street. But I found out it was not down in May. I don't know where he is or who his friends are. In his last letter, he did say he'd met a girl. Maybe they eloped. Dan would never do anything shameful. Of course he would. Where can I contact you, Miss Klein? I live in Yellow Plains, Oregon. I'm afraid I don't have a phone. Please write me when you find him. I'll do better than that. I'll bring him home. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's been a while since I made a woman smile. It made me want to find her brother. So I could see that smile again. What do you reckon, Ralph? I reckon Dan didn't put much into those letters, unless she knows more than she's telling. But her money's good, and that buys three days of your time. Only three days? That's right. On August 1st, you start a new case. You're taking the train to New York to put a tail on a crooked lawyer named Thurston Granger. So get going, partner. The day was loaded was one of these 1990s full motion video FMV games and it's point and clip to a certain extent. Over the various days you investigate the case and collect clues and go through various tasks. This game is one of those that it takes a walkthrough to successfully navigate the game because there are certain very obtuse and hidden clues that you must do on a certain day, otherwise you are unable to advance. This game sort of holds up sort of well for its age, and a enthusiast has packaged the game with DOS box that lets you play it on modern systems. I would grade this game a grade of B+. First of all, Due to his age, it still works and is somewhat entertaining, but there are some difficulties that you must use the walkthrough. That's enough for today. 